Here we'll make a short video about causal chains and I'm going to share a screen. And here we are, so causal chains. One cause leads to another. So it is a chain of events, chain reaction, and each cause on the chain requires the one before it. So connected causes causal chains. Uh, when this happens, it becomes difficult to determine main causes because each cause requires something before it. So um, often we are trying to figure out the main cause of whatever, but when causes are connected, it can get difficult. So here is a hypothetical example. Let's say the topic is an apartment building fire. So there's a fire in an apartment building and you wanna know how did it start? So let's say one of the residents is an old guy, we'll just make him old guy in the building. And let's say he's sick. Because he is sick, he takes medicine. And you know, sometimes medicine has side effects, like you get a little edgy. Let's say the side effects um, took effect. So because he took the medicine, he's feeling hyperactive, tries to calm himself down and decides to smoke a cigarette. Unfortunately, while he's smoking a cigarette, he drops the cigarette on the mattress. Often mattresses are flammable, mattress catches fire, and then the fire spreads to the building. So notice how each thing here, it wouldn't happen if it were not for the cause before it. So a causal chain. But how do you determine the main cause? I'm gonna scroll a little bit down here. What is the main cause? And now it gets difficult because each one requires what's before it. And I, I'm going to pick something here, like the, the lighting up of the cigarette or the dropping of the cigarette. I'll pick that as main because that's the beginning of the actual fire. So that's my reasoning, but you can see how it's difficult to determine um, what's the main cause. Even just the fact that he's old could be a, uh, a cause. And note there can be other causes not on the chain. So I'm making it look simple here, but it might not have spread to the building. So mattress catches fire, but it might not have spread to the building if there hadn't been a broken fire alarm. So again, I'm making this up. Broken fire alarm is not connected to those other causes. It's, it's discrete, but might be a pretty important cause. Um, I don't know if that would be the main cause, but that would certainly be a contributing cause. Uh, once you have the fire, this broken fire alarm allows it to spread, but it's not connected to the rest. So there is our simple example of a causal chain. And then to think about for some informal homework, which maybe we will talk about in our next class session, consider explaining the following. Here's four different topics. <clears throat> as the results of causal chains. And all of these are, are um, they've happened once in a while. All of these are real. A sports team finishes last place, then makes the championship game next year. Um, that has happened in several different sports several times. So a one year turnaround. Imagine that as part of a causal chain and you can, and, oh, and by the way, you have to decide what are the links on the chain too. Sometimes it's hard to say exactly what are the links, like lighting a cigarette, dropping a cigarette. I'm counting that as two separate links, but it might be up to you what's if it's one link or two. Number two, a middle schooler had a C average last year, but this year has an A average. Again, think about a chain of events that would make that happen. This is real, red wolves, a subspecies of wolf. They were extinct in the wild, but now there are hundreds. It's not exactly really a causal chain, but you could imagine it happening as a part of a causal chain. Same thing with number four, which is real. Um, it's not, it didn't really happen exactly from a causal chain, but you could, for the, exer for the exercise here, imagine it this way. Oakland's beautiful Fox Theater was slated for demolition, but the Fox Theater has been saved and restored. Um, so think of it as a chain of events that made that happen. Um, so no right or wrong answers. There'll be many different ways to explain these, but let's see if you could do it as part of um, causal chain. Oh, and then think about what is the main cause for each of these things happening. And we'll take a little time next session to um, 
talk about these and see what you thought. That's what I've got for this causal chain video, and I will see you next class session.